Hello. So today we will be solving this problem for the stick lengths. So there are n sticks with some lengths. Your task is to modify the sticks so that each stick has the same length. You can either lengthen or shorten each stick. Both operations cost x, where x is the difference between the new and original length. What is the minimum total cost? So, for example, here we have five elements, two, three, one, five, and two, and the cost is five. So, why is the cost five? Let's find out. So, this is our example. And uh, so, let's say that our the final length is three. What would this array become? First, it never hurts to sort stuff, so let's sort it first. So this becomes one, two, two, three, five. Okay, so if our final length is equal to three, our cost would be this has to become three, so cost two. So two plus one plus one plus zero plus two. So that's a total of six. Okay. What if our length is 2? Here we would get 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3. So that's 5. That is 5. So that's better. Maybe if we try 1, we're gonna get a better answer. Although we know that the best answer is 5 already. What if uh, the final length is 1? Then we get 0, 1, 2. 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 4, 8. So that's, that's worse. So the answer appears to be 5 when the final length is 2. But why? Uh, let's check out this example. And let's actually sort it as well. So we get 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 5, 5, 9. Okay. And let's draw this histogram kind of thing where each column represents the length of this and let's do what we did above so let's suppose that our final length is this like 9 so final length is 9 and then just from looking at this if we bring it down a, a level like if we bring it down to this level what would happen? we will have this this column would have to perform an additional move because before it did not it had cost zero but now it would have cost one so the cost was incremented by one on this side but notice what happened on this side like all these values had to go up to here now they only have to go up to here so we had a minus of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of eight elements. So there is an improvement going down. Like going down this way was beneficial because we uh, decreased our cost by seven. So that's good. Let's go to the next layer. And that would be something like here. Here again, the cost increases by one from this and it decreases by 8 from the others so another minus 7 okay so we go to the next level I apologize to your eyes for this choice of colors but what can you do okay so here there is a plus 1 again and a minus 8 again so minus 7 so we keep going down and if we go down to this level uh, here we have actually we have a plus one again and now we don't have a minus eight we only have a minus five because these values are actually equal to our new value but still there is still a decrease in the cost of minus four so that's good so we should keep going uh, what if we go down here same thing now there is an increase so there is an increase of 4 this time because all these 
four columns would have to go one step further whereas for this there is a decrease of uh, five again yes of five we have five here so there is still a decrease of minus one so we go down to this level now uh, there would be an increase of four and a decrease of four so that that way it's like we reached a the minimal value so here the value would get here would be would have would notice a decrease of zero and then if we go to the next one we're gonna have an increase of five actually that's how many, yes an increase of five and the decrease of three so that we would notice an increase of one so there is no point in going beyond this point but what is this magical point this magical point as you saw since there is this relation of right and left here is that point where the right elements are uh, are as many as the left elements i.e that's the median of the array uh this comes in handy in many kind of problems but anyways so basically our magic spot is the median if we know the median of the array we know the final length of the sticks and if we know the final length of the sticks then our algorithm becomes linear we just have to go through each element and uh, uh, sum up the different the absolute value difference between the final length and that length and in order to find the median we just sort the array and the median would be at position n over 2 0 indexed and that applies for odd and even length arrays so let's check out the code. So that's our vector. We will s we will create a vector of length n that contains our length. We will scan these lengths. Then we will sort our vector, and we will declare this variable that will keep track of the cost. And for each element in our array. We will just add up the difference between that length and the median, which are, which is as we said, uh, located in position n over two, and that's it. And at the end, we just print the cost. So this is it. Let's submit. So that worked. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.